thief takes off in a bucket truck, the utility vehicle used for high elevation maintenance with a city worker trapped inside the bucket. Let's take a look. Security cameras capturing the stolen truck on the move. There it goes. There's the worker. You can see him on the back. Holy oh smokes. Gosh. He's clinging to that speeding vehicle. The employee was hanging a snowflake decoration in town when a thief jumped in and took off with the truck. Police chased the vehicle and finally stopped it. Investigators say the thief is facing kidnapping and theft charges, and we hope the man putting up the snowflake yeah. decor is okay. He was just hanging on there for dear life. That's incredible. Goodness. Apple is readying a software fix already for the new iPhone 10. That's an expensive phone. Following reports that the screen becomes unresponsive or kind of it freezes up in cold right. weather. Yeah, you were saying that. Some owners of the device have said they were able to get the screen working again after locking and unlocking the device. Apple has not yet given an exact estimate of when the fix will be released. Certainly a lot of issues with that phone. Well, there was a special celebration along the U.S.-Mexican border on Saturday, resulting in hugs, tears of joy, and even a wedding. It's an event known as Opening the Door of Hope, and there's the door. It allows a small group of families to reunite briefly with loved ones on the opposite side of the border. For three minutes only, each family reunited. And for some grandchildren, they met their extended family for the very first time. This year, a couple separated by the border got married in a brief ceremony, and the groom summarized what the door of hope truly means to them. You know, love has no borders, and that, that you know, wall might be able to divide two countries, but they can't divide, you know, a love between two people. All right, a man's best friend indeed owning a dog might be helping people live longer, healthier lives. Yeah, I like this study. It was released on Friday out of Sweden. It surveyed more than 3.4 million dog owners in over a 12 year period to investigate their health in comparison to non dog owners. And the results dogs help reduce the risk of developing cardiovascular disease, stroke and even a heart attack. Dog owners also had a 33% lower risk of death. And I read that, you know, your endorphins suddenly start pumping when you hug your dog. It's a very calming effect. Absolutely. Yeah, I totally believe that. Mm -hmm. War has made many heroes of men and women, but animals have also shown some heroism on the battlefield. Over the weekend, one special forces dog in London received a very prestigious award for courage. Mali, an eight-year-old Belgian Malinois, was deployed to the war-torn country of Afghanistan in 2012, and he was sent through direct fire to find explosives, detected the presence of enemies, and was injured by three grenade blasts. To get the PDSA Dickin Medal, um, it obviously has to show extreme bravery, which uh, Mali did on that day. Um, no training that we ever did with him would have prepared him for what he went through on that day. And the medal has recognized gallantry by animals serving with the military, police, or rescue services since 1943. I just love that. Mally, way to go. Yeah, saving soldiers' lives.